Hey guys, and welcome back to My English Brain. Today, we are talking about the present perfect. Okay, let's get started. Today, before we start, we need to look at the three different types of verbs that we use in English. We have the present tense verbs, the past tense verbs, and the past participle verbs. Now, today we are going to focus on the past participles. So, look at the present tense and what the past participle form of the verb is. Notice that many of the verbs are regular in the past participle, just like the past tense. We use ED. However, some of the verbs are irregular just like in the past tense, but the past participle is different in the irregular than the past tense. So, these are the verbs you're going to see today. Washed, cleaned, finished, tried, started, completed, watched, given, been, done, taken, eaten, gone, seen, and told. So, try and remember these verbs and their form in the past participle. This is Randy and Ben. Randy got home from work and sees that Ben didn't do any of the things he asked him to do. Let's listen to their conversation. <sighs> Ben, have you done anything I told you to do today? Y yeah I've done a few things. Huh, like what? You haven't washed the dishes yet. You haven't cleaned the table. And you haven't given Titi any food. Y yeah well, I I've been busy with other stuff. Really? What have you done today? Y you know, I've taken a shower, I've eaten breakfast, let's see, what else? Have you gone to the grocery store yet? No, I, I haven't gone yet, but I'm going to go later, I promise, okay? Have you finished your homework yet? Yeah, I've already finished it. It wasn't that hard. Well, at least you've done one thing today. But lately, I haven't seen that you've tried to help your mother and I around the house. So, I think we're all going to have a little talk when she gets home tonight after work. Psst. Whatever, Dad. Okay, and now it's time for today's grammar. And today's grammar is the present perfect. Now, the present perfect is a verb tense. It's a type of the past, but is not the same as the simple past. The present perfect is for non-time specific actions in the past. Again, it's not specific for when the action happened. The emphasis is on the action, not the time when it happened. So, for example, if we think from the morning to now, at some time, he ate breakfast. But when we don't say the time that he ate breakfast, we just want to be very general about the non-specific past, we use the present perfect. And we say, I have eaten breakfast today. Again, when he ate breakfast is not important when we use this grammar. We only want to say that this is something that he did, but we don't know when. Another example, he did not give TT food. But again, when we do not want to be specific about when, we use the grammar for the present perfect. And we say, I haven't given TT any food the negative form of the present perfect. Again, 
we do not care about when this action happened or didn't happen. With the present perfect, the action is only to tell about an experience or something that happened with no reference for when. Very good. Now, let's look at the formula for the present perfect. For the subjects I, you, they, and we, we use the auxiliary have, and then we use the past participle of the verb. Remember, the verb have is not the normal verb have. This is the auxiliary form of the verb have. It's the grammar of the present perfect. The main principal verb is in the past participle. Now, for the subjects he, she, and it, the third person subjects, we use the third person auxiliary has. And we also use the past participle of the verb. So for example, I have eaten breakfast, or you have eaten breakfast, they have eaten breakfast, we have eaten breakfast. For the third person, he has eaten breakfast, she has eaten breakfast, and it has eaten breakfast. Remember we use the auxiliary have and the past participle for these subjects, and we use has and the past participle for the third person subjects, he, she, and it. Very good. Now, we have contractions with our subjects and the auxiliary verb have and has. I have, we use I've. You have, we use you've. They have, we use they've. We have, we use we've. Now, with the subject he, she, and it, and the auxiliary verb has, we say he's, she's, and it's. We also have contractions for the negative form of the present perfect. For I, you, they, and we, we use haven't for the negative form of the contraction. And for he, she, and it, we use hasn't. So remember, the contractions to remember with have, I've, you've, they've, and we've. The contractions with has, he's, she's, and it's the negative haven't and the negative hasn't. Very good. Now it's time to look at the question in the present perfect. Remember the affirmation. The affirmation we start with the subject, you, then the auxiliary verb have, and then the verb in the past participle, eaten. You have eaten breakfast is the affirmation form. But in the question, we start with the auxiliary verb, have, then the subject, and then the verb. For example, have you eaten breakfast is the question formation for the present perfect. Another example, has he eaten breakfast or has she eaten breakfast? Remember, when we use the subject he and she, we use the third person auxiliary has. But remember, in the questions, for the present perfect, we begin with the auxiliary verb have or has, then the subject, and then the verb. Very good. Now, the last part of the present perfect is these adverbs yet and already. We sometimes use yet and already in the present perfect to indicate different ideas. We use yet to indicate an expectation of an action. And we often use this in the question and in the negative. For already, we use in the affirmative and we use it to indicate a finished action before it is expected. Again, yet is to indicate an expectation of an action and already is to indicate a finished action. Let's look at the question with yet. For example, have you eaten breakfast? Yet? Again, this question is okay, but it's an option to use the adverb yet. If we use the adverb yet, this question says, 
I expect you will eat breakfast, but did you already do it? Again, yet is about the expectation of eating breakfast. In the negative, we can say, I haven't eaten breakfast. Or we can use the adverb and say, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Again, this sentence says, I didn't eat breakfast, but I expect to eat it. Again, yet is for the negative, and yet is for the question about the expectation of the action. In the affirmation, I have eaten breakfast. We can use already and say, I have already eaten breakfast. Now, when we say this, it indicates I ate breakfast before you expected. Now, again, already is about the finished action. I have already eaten breakfast. And yet is about the expectation of the action. Have you eaten breakfast yet? Or I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Very good. Now it's time to practice. To practice, use the grammar of the present perfect to finish the sentences and the questions. For example, he hasn't done anything all day. He hasn't done anything all day. Has he cleaned the kitchen yet? Has he cleaned the kitchen yet? No. He hasn't started it yet. No. He hasn't started it yet. Has he finished his homework yet? Yes, he's already completed it, but that's the only thing he's done today. Yes, he's already completed it. But that's the only thing he's done today. Have you been on the computer all day again? Have you been on the computer all day again? No. I haven't been on the computer at all today. No, I haven't been on the computer at all today. Okay, so what have you done today? Okay, so what have you done today? I've already taken a shower and eaten lunch. I've already taken a shower and eaten lunch. And I've watched a few movies on TV. And I've watched a few movies on TV. Alright, that's it for today's lesson, guys, and thanks for coming to My English Brain. Don't forget, if you like the lesson, share it with your friends, family, and classmates. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. And go to the website for more practice, myenglishbrain.com. And the next video, four versus sense. I've lived here for ten years. 
Alright guys, thanks for watching and good luck.